and salutations, Sir Javians. It is Sir J. Svek back with another episode of DJ Sir J. DJ Sir J. Sir J. Sir J. And welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a new month, December 1, 2022, 7.05 a.m., a lovely Thursday morning. This time check was brought to you by none other than DJ Sergey himself, Sergey Svek. Of course, I would like to acknowledge the presence of I here. Once again, I thank you very much for always dropping by to the streams. It's always good to have um, your energy coming in for today, and I hope that you are doing well. Thank you once again for always being there at the very beginning. Um, I really, really appreciate it, is what I'm trying to say. So thank you once again, and I hope that you are doing well. And if you want to have to follow someone who likes to make noise and um, likes to stir stuff up and uh, make a and something, <laughs> follow I. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? I can't, I'm running out of English. <laughs> But again, thank you everybody for um, dropping by. I hope you were doing well. And for those of you who are watching the VOD, I hope that you have that you have had a good day, a good evening, that you've all hit your goals. And um, if you're going to rest after this, hope that you rest well. But if you're going to start your day, then I hope that you will have a good day ahead. As for me, I'm already done with work. I've already done all of my obligations. So all that's left for me to do is just to slowly wind down and then get some rest. And I hope that it will be a very fruitful rest indeed. So we've got a few things to talk about, especially um, in relation to current issues related to me. But I do want to ask, how is everybody doing? Because nowadays with the colder weather that's been happening here it's a lot of people have been experiencing have been getting sick um a day does not pass that we that i do not receive notifications that someone is not feeling well that they're getting colds that they're getting um flu and all of that seasonal jazz um i I am not exempt, unfortunately. I've had to deal with my own colds, my own, my own sicknesses. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to be serious because I did run a couple of tests on myself, and it turns out that I am negative for COVID. And thank goodness for that. Um, I already, I already under, I already suffered under COVID in July of this year and I certainly don't want to go through that again it's such a pain <laughs> but um, like what like what I've been saying before just because at least in the Philippines things seem to be improving in terms of the number of cases not being reported but then again that depends but all the same uh, don't forget to always practice your hygiene wash your hands and um, Wash your hands, make sure you keep your distance, and make sure that you are always taking care. We can never be too careful. Always take that extra mile to save you an extra mile of heartache. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, where we are right now. And I hope that everybody um, is still staying safe because, of course, it is a new month. November has finally left us. And for those of you who have been taking part in events in November, it's now a time to start anew in December as well. So let's go ahead and see how, what December holds for us. We've got 31 days left. 31 days to make a difference or to finish what we need to do. So hopefully we'll be able to see um, We'll, we'll be able to see you accomplish all of the goals that you have set out for 2022 so that by the time 2023 rolls in, you'll be able to experience the true... Um, that you'll be able to ex face 2023 with a lighter heart and a head held high. 
it's already time for a number of us to start planning our New Year's resolutions, to start um, gathering our new Starbucks planners, actually. <laughs> you know, um, I was never one for collecting the Starbucks planners that came, that would, that become available around this time of year. And the, and the simple reason for that is, is that as much as I like writing in a diary, I am not, I am not confident enough to follow a specific plan. <laughs> I just, I just make things up as I go along, you know, it's not easy. So I just, I just do what I got to do. And then hopefully, and hopefully people will like it. <laughs> And it turns out, for the most part, it does work. I am able to, I am able to um, get things done despite all of the not being as organized as some other people are. But of course, I do admit that yes, having being a little more organized, following a schedule would definitely help me greatly. Um, but of course, Sergey, Sergey over here is a, a bit of an old dog. He needs to learn a few new tricks. So I think that's one thing that we need to go ahead and figure out in the next year is that how do I become a lot more efficient? How do I actually schedule my things? How do I do even more? You know, because I admit that I do miss a lot of things because I just tackle things as they come. Um, I leave the scheduling for work alone. It's already bothersome to try and <laughs> and to try and um, figure out what to do when I'm when it's my time off. You know, I want to rest. I don't want to have to think about. Uh, you have to get things done. You have to do this, do that. You know, you have to clean your room. You have to get groceries. You have to do all these things. But the truth of the matter is, is that. Um, despite everything, I have to, I have to deal with all of that eventually. And the longer that you put it off, the more difficult things are going to be when it's finally crunch time. And the funny thing about me is that I actually work a lot better when I am, when I am, when I have a deadline. So whenever I have a deadline, oh, definitely, I I love I work best. <laughs> I I if ever there's like this brings me back to school because before, um, if ever we would have homework on the weekends, I was never the type of person to do my homework on Friday evening, for example, or Saturday. I always, I always did everything on Sunday evening. And you have no idea how many times I used to get in trouble with my parents because sometimes one of the kinds of homework we would follow is that, okay, Sergey, you have to buy this thing. You have to buy a folder. You have to buy some eggs for a science experiment. You have to buy a notebook or whatever, any kind of thing. And by the time and by the time Sunday evening rolls along, I I finally realize that oh, I should have actually bought those things. And then I tell my parents, "Uh, mom, dad, um I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to buy this." <laughs> and then my parents would look at me they would sigh and they would say, why didn't you do this earlier? You should have done this earlier when the stores were open. Of course, as a kid, I, I, it just hurt a lot, you know, hearing that from them. But now that I'm a lot older, I understand where they're coming from. And nowadays I try to get everything done, but I don't do it in an organized manner just i just take what comes and then get it done the sooner i get it done the less i have to think about it so what it it, it works for me although i do wish i did things better 
you know, you if you think that you are doing everything correctly, if you don't see any room for improvement, then okay, that's good. But there is always room for improvement, always room for change. Um, if you think that at this point in time that you no longer need to improve on anything, then I think you need to take a little more time to look into yourself and discover that, yes, there are things that need to be changed. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. There's nothing wrong with um, finding out that there are things that need to be changed in your life. What that means is that there are just more opportunities for you to discover. Ah, be crazy. Thank you very much for dropping by. Glad to have you here and I hope that you are doing well. Welcome, welcome. So just to give um, an intro of what we're doing, this is my regularly scheduled DJ Sergey segment. And um, I am just, you know, talking about my experiences and um, hopefully trying to impart lessons to people. <laughs> If I am not, if I am not going all rambly, rambly, sambly around everybody. But again, thank you very much for dropping by. Thank you very much for following. And I hope that you are doing well today. Glad to have you here. So uh, what I was just talking about is that it's December. It's a new month and it's actually around the end of the month. And we are a lot of my friends are already at that point where they are trying to buy those Starbucks planners. And yeah, that's that's something. <laughs> the Starbucks planners are the big thing that people are looking for um, around this point in time. And Husk, thank you very much for dropping by too. Glad to see you. Hope you were doing well. And yeah, Starbucks planners are great and all, but I've never I've never relied on an organized planner only because I don't follow a plan. <laughs> I just make things up as I go along. So it works for me, though I wish I were more efficient. That's something that I want to do. I want to be a bit more organized, a bit more efficient, but that's just how it is. Oh, okay. All right, we'll go ahead and get back to that thing uh, regarding OBS. Thank you, Husk. And um, if you want to follow someone who is actually um, playing Souls games very well, such as um, Dark Souls, Sekiro, and um, eventually Elden Ring, go ahead and follow Husk. I'm sure that you will have a very entertaining experience. So, yeah. And I did, I did joke about this before because, you know, around this time of the year, in December, you're gonna. If you get invited to have a Starbucks date, sometimes you have to ask yourself: Is it actually, is it actually a Starbucks date with your crush, or is your crush just asking for help so you can get she could they could get extra stickers for the Starbucks planner? Because <laughs> that has happened before. <laughs> uh, whatever, it's all in the past. But anyway, be crazy. This avatar is actually a GIF. So it's not a live 2D. I wish I had a live 2D, but it's my laptop can't handle that at the moment. So I just have a GIF and um, my artist, Myla's, programmed it so that whenever I talk, I would move like this. But if I don't move, it's like this. So there. It actually just uses reactive images from Fujitech. And um, yeah, that's just the secret of that. It's it's very nice. It's very nice indeed. And Cambio, thank you very much for dropping by. Good to see you as well. And um, Husk, if you don't mind, um, if you don't mind performing mod duties for me, can you give a shout out to Cambio Kings and Tonk Plays as well, please? Using the um, exclamation point SO, if you don't mind. <coughs> Tong Play says, invites friends to Starbucks for stickers. Yes, we are users for the stickers. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that it's that this is not the first time that this has happened to a number of us, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you for the shout outs, Cus. Appreciate it. And 
and um, Tonk as well. Um, that's a very unique avatar. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate that. Um, I actually asked my artist, Milas, just to um, just say, okay, Milas, you go ahead and do an, a, a, a not talking animation like this. And then an open animation where I just move my hand. And then that's that. But he went above and beyond and then just made it into a GIF so it could move. Which is like a good medium between a PNG and a Live 2D. Because Live 2D is the goal, but I can't do that yet. <laughs> my, my laptop could probably get fried a long time before that. Tonk is actually playing Kina. You know what? My my artist Milas also plays Kina too. So it kind of feels like a Norse God of War. Norse God of War or God of War Ragnarok with Studio Ghibli. Like that. And Leon, thank you very much for dropping by. Good to have you here, sir. Can I have a shout out for Leon, please? So if you want to see someone who also does the podcast the podcast scene in the Philippine VTuber community, go ahead and um, take a look at Leon, who has been doing a number of interviews with Philippine VTubers. The most, um, the one that I am really admire is the um, recent one with all of the ladies from Cometa Virtual Live and their boss, Kira. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead and check out the Leon's den. So yeah. Starbucks planners. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Milam, glad to see you as well. Good to see you. Good to see you. We've got a very big crowd here. And I thank you very much again, everybody, for dropping by so early in the morning here in the Philippines. But I hope that you are doing well. Glad to have you here. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, shout outs, bunch of stuff. There's that. And thank you for the follow as well, Tonk. Appreciate it very much. And I hope you enjoy your stay in the Sergevian Nation. And yeah, I don't know what all of you have planned for the for the next year. So we'll see how it goes, what your New Year's resolutions are. Because definitely for me, I I don't have any. <laughs> I just I just uh, play as play things as they go along, you know. So there's that. That's how I've always done things in my life. Um, I admire the people who can actually use a planner and then go all the way without having to miss a day because they really use it. But me, I just <laughs> I just take every day as it comes. So there's that. So, does anyone use a planner here in the audience? Let me know. Even better, do you use a Starbucks planner? <laughs> and do you invite your friends to Starbucks during this time so you can actually get more stickers? Confess. Confess. <laughs> Tonk says, oh, no plans, only vibes. That's the spirit. That's the spirit right there. Leon says, I only use the organizer. Is there a difference between the two? The organizer versus the planner? The planners are eh, according to Leon. I understand. Milim says, I do collect the SB stickers. I don't plan. I like the stickers in it. I understand. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And yes, Husk, that is a thing. That is a thing. Um, it has happened before that there are people who do who uh, invite other people. You know, the more the more you invite, the merrier, as they say here in the Philippines back in the day. The more entries, the more chances of winning. <laughs> so it's not uncommon for a bunch of friends to go to Starbucks around this point in time, and then get some get some drinks so they could get all the stickers to pull it together and then let their friend you know get the planner leon says i've been a partner for a while so yeah <laughs> understandable understandable tonk says though i have been using a to-do list more recently 
The to-do list was something I never bothered to do back then. Actually, that's a very good point, and um, thank you for bringing it up. Um, a to-do list is really a really good start because at least we don't have to worry about um, what's this? We don't have to worry about uh, filling up an entire notebook because sometimes, as a child, I used to I wanted to be a novelist growing up, and. My mom used to get frustrated because whenever I wanted to write a new story, I would write in... I would buy a new notebook from National Bookstore. And then I would usually write maybe just like five pages. And then I would give up because I have a new story idea. And how many notebooks have littered my room that have only been filled up by, with five pages? And I guess it's the same also for planners sometimes, you know? You have it can be a bit intimidating to fill up an entire notebook, so might as well have a to-do list that you can just scratch at the end of the day. Um, sometimes I actually do um, like with Microsoft Outlook, or sometimes in Windows there are also like apps that could do like sticky notes, which I think are really good because at least if you don't want to keep a paper list or if you're not allowed to keep a paper list, then you can go ahead and use sticky notes. Does anyone still use sticky notes? I I, I don't. I, I prefer not to use sticky notes, the real paper sticky notes. No. We try we try to preserve the environment here in the Sergevia Nation as much as possible. <laughs> we try. We try. How successfully, we don't know. But yeah, Husk, um, this type of promotion is a common thing in the Philippines um, using uh, Starbucks planners. Do you do you even have Starbucks planners in in America in Starbucks America? Is that a thing? Milim uses notes on the phone. Very good. Yeah. If if there's nothing else, I like Simple Note. Simple Note is a great um, app recorder for me. Um, if not, then Evernote is also another one. Evernote, the one with the green elephant on it. Or if you're on iOS, the default note-taking app is fine as well. But for me, Simple Note is my personal favorite. Um, Husk says, I used to use the sticky notes a lot at work. Yeah. But it can, if you leave it on your computer, it can be a bit of a mess after a while. Tonk uses the sticky notes in the computer. Yeah, saving the environment right there. <laughs> like the stars system for reward points, huh? You mean, kind of like, like how when there's like this board with your name on it, and then if you fill it up with a bunch of stars, you get a reward? Is that what you mean, Husk? Oh. I mean physical sticky notes. We put them on flip charts. I see. I see. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Milim says, same. I'm a minimalist. That's understandable. Very understandable. Um, minimal is fine. I don't do minimal. <laughs> I think I think we'll understand based on my model already and my and my um, style of doing things. We, uh, I like loud. <laughs> I like bombastic, so I don't like, I don't like, you know, minimalist. <laughs> um, oh, so Husk says, a board with your name? No, that Starbucks thing is a phone. Ah, it's a phone app. That's all we have. Okay, so that's what you mean. Okay. Oh, so, oh yeah, now I get it. So the star system is like, like your reward points. Because we have we have that for other for other apps like that. So if you visit enough times, you show a QR code or something like that, and then it will track your reward points. Oh, I don't. Th I never use the Starbucks phone app. If there is before, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. But I know in the Philippines we have the Starbucks membership card, which is used so that after you pay, you give it to the cashier, and then. Um, they scan it and then boom, you'll be able to see, you know, you'll get more reward points, which 
I never do. <laughs> I never use because I don't like Starbucks that much anymore, actually. Um, I've moved on to Tim Hortons. <laughs> um, let's see. Tonk says, I use Microsoft to do for the list. It syncs my list from the computer and the phone. Can can do a collaborative list too. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's, it reminds me of Microsoft OneNote. I actually realized that. Microsoft OneNote is also great because um, if, you're, if you're at work and you want to make notes with a bunch of people, you don't have to save and worry about versions. Like if you had like a Word document, it automatically updates. So if multiple people are working on it, people will just be able to uh, work depending on the what they've got. So it's really, really nice. Du, 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 du. Yeah, Tim Hortons for the win. <laughs> Iced double double, baby. Yeah. Uh, my personal favorite in Tim Hortons is actually the vanilla cream cold brew. And people the, at my usual Tim Hortons are already already know who I am. In the Philippine, in the Tagalog term, I'm their suki. I'm the regular so whenever i come in they're saying they say they say to me sergey i'm sorry sir but we don't have the vanilla cream cold brew right now darn it okay we get something else <laughs> like why does the vanilla cream cold brew always disappear when i need it man always and i have to settle for the double double and the double double is in star in uh, Tim Hortons is coffee with two servings of sugar and two servings of creamer. So that's really sweet, really sweet right there. <laughs> uh, tell me, tell me everybody, what what do you prefer when you go to a cafe? Like if you go to Starbucks. What's your, what's your favorite? Um, let's see. Well, give, me a second, give me a second. <clears throat> Milim says, I like it sweet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Understandable. Husk says, yeah, we have a digital membership card. I got enough points to get a free French press. Yeah, go get that French press, bro. Get that French press. If um, I don't know if if I'm at home, I prefer to just have instant coffee because I I don't want to bother with um, getting a filter paper and then waiting like ten minutes for all of the all of the grounds to settle with the hot water. Like I don't have patience. Me want caffeine now. <laughs> just. Spoon the cap the coffee into the water. Psh, there. There we go. Mmm. My blood. I bleed coffee at this point. <laughs> Tonk says, what's your go-to snack with your coffee? In Tim Hortons, mine is usually a donut. It's either their regular glazed or their chocolate glazed. But uh, because it's like the Tim Hortons near me does not have all of the food that they normally do. But if I go to the regular, the Tim Hortons with all of the food, I would like one of their sandwiches or their wraps. That's really good. Their food is really good, actually. It's really good. What do you what do you like to have? Oh, okay, yeah, you have a comment here, Tonk. Leon says, if not a French press, and then on the run, a cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. And you know what? I just realized I want to say something here. I'm sorry for the people that love mocha, but now I understand why one of my friends does not like mocha. Because mocha is just is just trying to be coffee and it's trying to be chocolate and it fails at both. So you might as well just get chocolate or coffee. 
because Mocha, Mocha ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Sergey is probably gonna get canceled on Twitter after this. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Woo. Leon, you're actually, um, you're actually in your lore. You're, um, uh, you're actually a uh, a bar a bartender, a barista in your lore. So, what do you what do you like to order from whatever ca cafe you go to? Milim says, if it's Starbucks, probably the white and and Baker. I'm sorry, and Baker, right? So Milim says. If it's Starbucks, probably the white chocolate with espresso shots. Ah, you know, I tried to get to like white chocolate. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. But one thing that I like about with white chocolate is the cookies from Family Mart. Um, white chocolate. No, 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 it's not Family Mart. It's Mrs. Fields. Mrs. Fields cookies. Yeah, the, the fancy tiny cookies. <laughs> White chocolate macadamia. Perfect combination. When I go, uh, Tonk says, when I go to Starbucks, my go to right now is matcha espresso fusion. If it's another coffee shop, I go with a fraps or iced. Something that's creaming with a little punch of the caffeine. Whee! <laughs> so just a tiny bit of the caffeine, more of the sweetness. A tonk. Understandable. Mocha, diba yun yung face? Um, not sure about that one. Uh, tonk. But yeah. Er, I like their Komodo dragon on a press, Leon says. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. And Milim says, have you tried cookies at Scout's Honor? Milim, I definitely have gone to Scout's Honor. And I, if you love your milk and cookies, I recommend everyone in this chat, at least in the Philippines, to go ahead and try Scout's Honor. Um, I'll explain why. Um, because Scout's Honor is a place where you can order different flavored cookies and different flavored milk. So it's like a milk bar, a milk bar. And that's and that's the kind of thing that um, I would appreciate. So Leon, um, if you want to have like a place in your bar for for milk, <laughs> I would I would visit your bar every single day. <laughs> but yeah, so in the display, um, I don't know where the branches are right now, but they still exist. But they there's like restaurants where they branch out and um, they have a whole bunch of other menu items too. Hey Koro, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, can I have a shout out for Koro, please? And um, yeah, we're just talking about coffee. You know, what coffee orders we have, what, whatever cafe you like, what is your favorite coffee order. Um, but we're also sidetracking to Scout's Honor because Scout's Honor is a milk and coffee bar and yeah, you got your cu your cookies, a whole bunch. If you like matcha, then they got matcha cookies with chocolate chips, which is I don't know. I don't feel I don't know like I don't like matcha actually. So so don't don't make sure the vod is not heard by my good friend Ren because <laughs> Ren loves matcha. Yeah, yeah, go get your coffee, Leon. It's early in the morning in the Philippines. We all need that. Uh, thank you for the stretch redeem, Tonk. So, um, and for the milk choices in Scout's Honor, you can actually have your regular milk, your skim milk, there's chocolate, strawberry, and, uh, correct, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Milim. They also still have horchata, I think that's the name, or, no, what was it called? My, Horlicks, Horlicks Milk. And they also have a black milk because it's from bamboo charcoal. Bamboo charcoal milk. So that's the good stuff right there. And they even have like a real bar, like a bar where you would drink your drinks. And I wanted to have like a, a video where if you have, 
you can order like a basket of cookies. You can have like a, a, a couple of bottles of milk. So I wanted to have like a picture of myself taken with empty bottles and then crying as the and as I bite into a cookie as though I went through a bad breakup. <laughs> shot back, shot back, bartender. Shot back. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to a bar. I don't know what they say in the Philippines. Um, tagay, tagay pamor <laughs> is what they call. I think. Okay. I don't. I don't go to bars. Okay. Um. I try not to, okay? I, I don't like drinking. I don't really like. Shot, shot puno. Yeah. So for for the benefit of the non-Filipino viewers, we're talking about uh, what do you say if you're trying to tell your bartender you need another drink? So shot puno means shot full, like fill up the shot glass or something like that. Something like that. And... Oh, you're out of coffee, Leon. No. Oh, that's that's my that's my worst nightmare too. I actually have to go to Lawson's now. <laughs> but I'll say this. Um I think it's only Family Mart and Lawson's that actually offers their own coffee in their convenience stores. Go get Lawson's. Lawson's has a very simple iced coffee, but really good. Family Mart has a lot more options because they offer things like caramel macchiato, espressos, americanos, but they're very sweet. They're very sweet. So let's keep it simple. Um, Tonk says, understandable with the matcha. I didn't like it at first. Yeah, same thing with me and black coffee. I did not like black coffee, but I forced myself to like black coffee because I realized that when I was, you know, locked in the lockdown, I ended up drinking like maybe two or three sachets of Copico Blanca, three in one. So that's the coffee, instant coffee with the creamer and sugar. And that is so, so sweet. So I forced myself to drink hot co uh, black coffee and now I like it. So maybe I will try it with matcha one of these days. Milim says Kit Kat matcha is, you know, that's a good thing about uh, in Japan. It's really, really nice. Oh, thank you for the lurk, uh, Kuro. Thank you also for dropping by. And you stay awesome too. If you want to follow someone who actually um, enjoys playing Final Fantasy XIV and uh, Modern Warfare, go ahead and follow Kuro. And be good to her or else she'll bite you. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. Why does Twitch's shout out system always have to take so long for the cooldown? I want to shout out everybody, please. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, bup, 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 bup. Oh, Milim, they actually deliver. Uh, they de actually deliver the Scouts Honor to you. That's that's good. That's good. You're very lucky. I'll go check it out on my Grab app one of these days. Uh, for the non-Filipino viewers out there, Grab is like our version of Uber because Uber has, you know, the cars, the transport system and Uber Eats. So it's the same thing. Grab is like the Filipino version of Uber Eats and Uber. Yeah. And, and also Lyft, but I don't know if Lyft has a food delivery service. But yeah, Grab is pretty much just like Uber and Uber Eats. Uh, yeah, I miss Uber too, Tonk. I, I, I really, I really feel bad that Uber had to be forced out. But you know, unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, Grab now has pretty much the monopoly on this thing. Joyride, Joyride is um, available, but for some reason, Joyride never picks me up. <laughs> I've only ridden in Joyride car just like once or twice. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <clears throat> um, oh, Milim says has a branch in Virtus North where you're close. So that's like in QC in Quezon City. Ah, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Good to know. Good to know. Husk says, we have Lyft, but that's just for transport. I see. I see. Yeah, I had a friend who lives in America 
um, who actually is a Lyft driver. So I kind of see, so it's, I see where you're coming from regarding that. And we'll talk more about Grab in a minute, but I just want to, I just want to acknowledge what Tonk says. I love, that's the kind of jokes that we're looking for here in the Sarjavian Nation. No joy for your ride. That's what we're looking for right there, baby. <laughs> bad puns, bad jokes. That's the stuff that I like to see. <laughs> okay, so... Tonk, why? Why do you have to rub it in that you have Scout's Honor downstairs? Goodness gracious. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, you, you go ahead and find that matcha milk or that that bamboo charcoal milk and if you don't like bamboo charcoal milk there's actually this place in mega mall i'm not sure if it's in other places or other malls in the philippines but it's called b i think it's called blk 513 yeah so that's the one that serves the frozen yogurt that is black because it's color covered in charcoal. And, and for those of you who watch my Dark Soul streams, because I because for some time for some reason, as Husk understands, Dark Souls makes me incapable of speaking English properly. So instead of saying frozen yogurt, I say frozen yogurt, frozen yogurt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why English? It's all I got. <laughs> Milim says, why you do this? You're making me jealous, making us jealous. What about me? I... Okay, and Tonk is just rubbing it in. And yes, BLK is also downstairs. It was like hyped up at some point. Yeah, that's true. The frozen yogurt, the frozen yogurt hype is okay. I think it's still okay because we still have Yao Yao. And I think some places still have White Hat. But not so much right now. Som, thank you very much for dropping by. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Mylis. Good to have you here. Um, can I have shout outs for Som and Mylis, please? Frozen yogurt. <laughs> but yeah, you know, frozen yogurt did not last as popular as i thought it would the the also the what the other trend that happened like a few years ago was what was it called again milk tea milk tea but milk tea is still going strong milk tea is still going strong surprisingly i thought milk tea would not would you know stop being popular after a year but it's still going strong and for me gongcha number one Gongcha number one. I know some people like the brown sugar from like the alley or what was it called? Something something tiger. But that's way too sweet. That's way too sweet. So for me. But I, I tried the brown sugar. I like the burnt taste of the brown sugar. But Gongcha is good. <laughs> Gongcha is good. Yes, it's number one. Number one. Milim and, and Tonk are having a little bit of argument regarding <laughs> regarding food. <laughs> okay. Som says, I haven't tried Yao Yao. If you can, if you live in the Metro Manila, I suggest you do. They, I think they still exist in Mega Mall, SM Mega Mall, or Glorieta. They, it, you definitely give it a try. Lots of ways to customize it. It's really good. And... Um, if you if you want to be adventurous, you can try BLK513, which is the black frozen yogurt or frozen yogurt. And then it's uh, because it's covered in charcoal. So yeah. Frozen yogurt. F frozen <laughs> frozen frozen yogurt. <laughs> banana milk, gongcha banana milk is good too. Oh, you know I have to go try that. Banana milk. I, banana milk is good in Korean stores. I think some would know because in Korean stores, there are some stores that sell uh, banana milk in a Tetra pack. Some likes Cha Time because 
day of their strawberry chocolate milk tea, but they phased it out. Oh, that's just so sad. That's just so sad right there. Very, that's a pity. You know, this, what this reminds me of, speaking of food trends, does anyone still remember cronuts? Cronuts. I'll let you think, what is a cronut? Just, just guess if you are not familiar with it. So for cronut, <laughs> yes. Uh, mods, help! Can you go ahead and yes? Can you go ahead and ban? Thank you, thank you, mods. Be gone, error. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so so cronuts. I love it. I finally get to use it on stream. I, you know, my... So if I want to say, Mods, exile this person from the Serjavian Nation, then I, and I, and I want to hear like, a, you got it, boss. Banned. <laughs> the Serjavian Nation is a very wonderful community. We accept people of all, of all walks of life. But if you're going to spam my chat, you will be exiled. <clears throat> now, where were we? So, cronut is actually a croissant, a donut, a croissant, a croissant donut. That's a cronut. So, if, think of a donut, right? Think of a donut. A really soft, cakey thing. But then, um, but cronut is super big, as in. And then it's a croissant. So it's you're gonna get a lot of crumbs when you bite into that thing. Trust me. So cronuts are they did not last long. I think they lasted only like a year before they went away. So not the not worth it. <laughs> it was not a worth worth investment. But I think the only survivors of all of those food trends are still frozen yogurt. But not by much. And uh, milk tea. It's still going strong, milk tea. Alright, so going over here. When Sergey says ban, the lich follows through. <laughs> Thank you, Husk. Leon says, good for you. When I tell my mods to do something, I get glorious ranting and explosions. Oh my goodness, Leon. That, that's just a, such a struggle right there. And Maya summarizes it best. All love in our community. Mods, do your thing. Which is, give a shout out to Qs. Hi, Qs. Thank you very much for dropping by. Good to have you here. Glad to have you here. Yes, thank you for the giving the headpads to Qs. And um, yeah, <clears throat> Q's is another streamer and welcome to the chat. Glad to have you here. But if you, so I, I'm, I'm just going to proclaim this again as my favorite coffee. If you go to Nanyang, if you go to Nanyang, um, I, I would recommend that you get their iced kopi, which is the Singaporean style. And I think Milam would like it because it is quite sweet, bittersweet, because it is coffee with evaporated milk and condensed milk. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> it's not too sweet, though. There's still a little bitterness inside, which I look for. I like bittersweet coffee because I'm going to do the good old fashioned hugot that that I used to do when I was still doing food reviews. <clears throat> I like my coffee like I like my relationships. Bittersweet. Bitter in the beginning, but sweet at the end. Hey. Yeah, Sergey still got it. <laughs> Milim says still would try, then proceeds to add more sugar. <laughs> Actually, Milim, if you go to Nanyang and order their ice coffee, you can actually order for extra, extra 
condensed milk. Yes. Yes, these are the reactions I'm looking for. Leon says, I'm a drop kick you to the next century. Milim says, sheesh. I'm going to try to make the the heavenly sound. Sheesh. It's kind of hard when you're only one person. I need someone else to harmonize with me. But yeah. Milas, Milas is really getting deep there. Everything great has a bit of little bitterness inside. Yeah, Milas. There we go. I knew I could get I could trust you with the one-liners. We need a we need a bass with that. I'm the bass, Milas. I'm the bass. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> okay, anybody here? You're the tenor, my You're the you're tenor, right, Milas? Naturally. We need like alto and soprano. And then we'll be able to, f to fit the ensemble. So, yeah. When I was in choir, um, I was bass. So, and I am pretty proud of my bass because, you know, when they do the tests with the organ when the, or the keyboard, when they say, okay, can you hit this note? Oh, uh, okay, Sergey, go lower. Oh, uh, okay, Sergey, lower. Oh, uh, then lower more and i think this is like the lowest bunch of notes i can hit one time i i went so low that I went even lower than the la the leftmost key on the keyboard. And so I'm really proud of that. <laughs> that I was able to get that low with my voice. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> that was deep than my inner thoughts, Milim. <laughs> Hear it in the in the back of your mind. That's what your sleep paralysis demon sounds like. My lowest note. Okay, now that now that became Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> if there's one thing that I want to learn, I want to do that one of these days. I want to learn Mong Mongolian throat singing. Oh, oh, like that. I, I can't really do it right, but I think that's how you do it. I'm just copying it from Civilization VI because if there's one good thing that I like about the Civilization games, especially five and six, it's really, really good. The the music is now is lovely the music is lovely and especially if you listen to the mongolian theme listen to the mongolian thing theme uh, in in civilization 6 especially when you because in the games the themes will vary depending if you're in the ancient era the medieval era the industrial era and the atomic era and then if you go for if you go for uh, what's this, the medieval era in Mongolia, the sound of the of the string instrument sounds like the clopping of a horse's hooves. So there's that. <clears throat> yes, rest in peace, Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. You will be missed. I thought you did the flute sound. <laughs> no, I did not do the flute sound. I did I did my attempt of uh, Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Tonk says, I like how you're doing the ooh and your avatar is just blank. <laughs> Ventriloquist moment. Yeah, sometimes the model doesn't capture if I if I shout or do a very long voice like ooh. It just stays still. <laughs> it needs me to talk. So if I can't, so if I can't do Mongolian throat singing, one thing that I want to do instead is to learn bagpipes. 
I want to teach myself how to do bagpipes. And you know what's the funny part about bagpipes? They are actually available in Shopee and Lazada. <laughs> yes, you can actually buy bagpipes from Shopee and Lazada. The question is where do I practice without, without my neighbors trying to throw me out? <laughs> Because there's if there's just one thing I want to do, it's just I just want to roll up. I want to roll up and then I just want to play Scotland the Brave. Just for no apparent reason. Scotland the Brave. There we go. I just want to do that for once in my life and then I'm all set. <laughs> Tong says, that's cool. It detects constant sounds, the avatar. Yeah, it, it, it kind of, it's a very interesting thing how the avatar works, actually. You know, I hope this is still okay. But did you know that I actually bought myself my own instrument from Shopee back then? And it's a kazoo. That's right. The good old, <sighs> the good old duck whistle. I mean... I don't know if I can say I know how to play it. Well, I just do. So, I hope it's still okay. If I get sick later, um, you know the reason why. <laughs> because I haven't played the kazoo for a very long time. So, let's just see if you can hear it. Mm. the kazoo ah. <coughs> ah. Oh. okay that tasted awful uh. was it worth it no but was it worth it for the memes yes it was ah. so yeah the kazoo you do not blow into the kazoo that's the mistake you do not blow the kazoo you actually hum into the kazoo so you press you it's like you put the kazoo between your on your teeth you do not put it between your teeth you rest the whole of the kazoo on your closed teeth and then you hum and that's where the sound comes from kazoos remind me of parties and cartoons they always had kazoos for some reason yeah because it's really easy to play it's uh it's a lot easier compared to like i don't know recorders or flutes just hum in a kazoo and you'll be fine today i learned how a kazoo works that's good tonk that's what i like to do with my just chatting streams i like to educate <laughs> if i can so yeah um and just so you know if you have a kazoo do not hum into the into the small end hum into the wider end that's the part that you need to hum into so if i can't teach myself how to use bagpipes i'll just play the kazoo instead <laughs> Oh boy, Sergey, the things that you buy from Shopee and Lazada. And you know what's even worse? It's gonna be it's um I I wanna buy another keyboard. <laughs> Doremi Coffee, thank you very much for dropping by. Good to see you, good to see you, Mama Chup Chup. Glad to see you here and catch the stream po next time. This is such a good setup. Thank you very much. And Palerk Muna, Sergey, you're very welcome. Go ahead and enjoy your your stay. And a kindly shout out, Doremi Coffee, if you please. If you want to go ahead and follow someone who's really great at just chatting and also does um, a lot if you, a lot of trivia on K-pop, go ahead and follow Doremi Coffee for the audience impact. Om Sim, Om Sim. <laughs> 
and thank you very much for the follow da vinci good to have you here welcome welcome to the stream hope you were doing well it is thursday december 1 2022 a new month 805 a.m here in the philippines that time check was brought to you by dj sergey dj sergey 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 okay so yep <clears throat> All right, welcome back everybody and glad to have you here and I hope that you are doing well for today. Um, we had a bunch of topics that happened during the stream. One, but I think the first thing that we could talk about is what is your favorite, what is your favorite coffee order from like Starbucks or Tim Hortons or whatever. And I also want to acknowledge Ben, thank you very much for the 10 bits. Appreciate it very much. Hope you were doing well. And good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we were talking about coffee and food because that's what we always love to talk about in the Sergevia Nation. Coffee and food. <laughs> All right. So going back to Miles' comment, imagine you were a heavyweight superhero, but you have to, sh to shout kazoo and thousands of disembodied kazoos play complete with lightning and all. So imagine that's your superpower. You summon the kazoo. The kazoo horde. You've awoken the horde. What horde? The kazoo horde. <laughs> that stuff. Goodness gracious. Husk says pumpkin spice latte, venti, otherwise iced vanilla latte. Yeah. Latte good. And Ben says white mocha latte blended whip ben i love you already you're i'm so glad that i'm not the only one who likes to order blended whip from starbucks so uh for those who don't know blended whip is when like normally if you've got like a frappuccino and you've got like the whipped cream on top so what i do is that i ask for blended whip so when they're preparing the drink they already put the whipped cream into the blender itself so that you no longer have to deal with all of the whipped cream at the top that's just there. You might as well just have it blended into the drink as well. So yeah, Ben, good choice. A man of culture. <laughs> so yeah, um, pumpkin spice latte season is already done, unfortunately, Husk, here in the Philippines. As soon as, um, as soon as November hit, um, we moved on to peppermint <laughs> it's peppermint season now <laughs> so yeah i i'm not a fan of peppermint flavored coffee at all and uh, but i do want to try a pumpkin spice latte just for once in my life just to see but i did you know the thing is uh in snr or landers which is like the Philippine version of Costco for you non-Filipinos out there, which is a warehouse shopping. So they've got, they've got, they did sell pumpkin pie, which is the first time I actually, I tried a pumpkin pie in s &R before. And it was okay. It was okay. So there's that. It's funny. Um, someone remind me on pumpkin pie. We'll get back to that. I'll just read the comments for a minute. <coughs> the, the the taste of the kazoo is still there. Oh no. I need to go take care of this after. Anyway, Sergey with the secret menu items, Husk. <laughs> yeah, actually there it was advertised on Facebook before a couple of years ago that some people could actually go to the McDonald's here in the Philippines and then they can order secret items from the mcdonald's so i i don't know the names but you could order stuff like you could order a filet o fish patty with a burger patty in one burger so something like that or you could order a triple level big mac so normally big mac only has two patties right but in that secret menu you can order a triple decker but that's so much bread as well Goodness gracious. Ben and Leon are so excited about peppermint season. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Ben says, I love landers. I have three giant alagyans, which are containers. I have three giant containers of cheese puffs because it was highly discounted. Yeah. If you want to buy bulk, go ahead and visit places like Landers and s &R. So again, it's like Costco in America. Which is funny because like Costco, we also sell some of the Kirkland items from in s and and Landers. So Kirkland is... For the Filipinos now, Kirkland is like the Costco version of SM Bonus. Or Robinson's, whatever their generic brand is. So yeah, you, I think you might know about SM Bonus. That. Kirkland is like the Costco version of that. So the more you know. Ben says... Oh no, sorry. Milo says, I'm not a coffee shop guy, but I love those sweet fraps. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ben says, I used to order just a slice of cheese at McDo. McDo is what we call McDonald's. In I, I know in some places, like in Australia, they call it Maccas. And other places, they call it Mickey D's. Or McD's or whatever. Um, five pesos for a slice of cheese. And you know what? Before, I used to actually order extra spaghetti sauce with my Jollibee spaghetti. And it used to be free. But now you gotta pay. You gotta pay. Goodness gracious. Wow. <clears throat> the difference is that... The difference is that you don't need to pay to get into Landers. What? Seriously? You don't? I thought you have to pay. Wait, I thought you have to pay... You have to pay for the membership, right? For the card to get in? Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I never go to Landers on my own. Okay, you don't. Alright, I understand. In Costco, you have to pay membership. Oh, I see. Soulless Hut, of course. <laughs> we, can't, we cannot go a stream. We finally got our first nuts joke, everybody. Thank you very husk. Very much husk. A true comedian. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to the Serjavian Nation. <laughs> Mila says, sadly, McDonald's these days have really smaller Big Macs. Yeah, the inflation is really is really affecting the prices. You know, it's uh, the size of things. It's really, really bad now, unfortunately. I don't know if it's because the Big Macs are smaller because we're now older and bigger. Or if it really is just everything is smaller. Maybe it's the latter. Anyway. Oh, so the Landers card is just an optional card. It gives you discounts. Oh, that makes Landers a lot better now. But I will say that SNR still has the better food because it has clam chowder. And... I will say this to all of you people who eat pizza and who don't like to eat the crust at the end of the pizza. Why? Why are you wasting all of that, um, all of that bread? Okay. But I understand it's not really that good. So what I suggest you do is if you go to s and if you don't, if you leave the crust or the plain part of the pizza at the end, what you could do is that you could actually dip, you could actually dip the, uh, this crust into the clam chowder, make it like a breadstick. And that's what I do. I dip the crust into the clam chowder like a breadstick, and that's so good. Yeah, the pickle relish is also really good in s &R. So much so that whenever I order a slice of pepperoni pizza from s &R, I order... I actually order, uh, I actually put some pickle relish on top, okay? <laughs> it's weird, okay? I understand, but that's how I, how I do things. Yeah, people working together on the nuts. We love our unity here. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for the help, Husk. Hope you have a great stream. And again, if you want to follow 
If you want to follow Husk, he's doing all of the From Software games from like Dark Souls, Sekiro, and he's currently at Sekiro and Dark Souls 2. Eventually, he's going to work his way to Dark Souls 3, and the final game in his series is going to be Elden Ring. So, uh, feel free to go ahead and give him a visit later on. Um, yeah, you never thought of it, Ben. It's really good. It's really good. Use the chowder as a breadstick. Me lurk for a bit, Milim says. This food talk is making me very famished. I understand. Go ahead and lurk, and thank you for confirming that the lurk command works. Thanks, God. Thank God for that. Okay. It finally works, the command. Mang Inasal is fine. It doesn't feel like real Inasal. It feels more like chicken barbecue compared to, like, JT's. Something like that. <clears throat> Uh, what else? Un you know what? Whenever they order un offer only soup or unlimited soup in certain places, like in Manginasal, I never really drink it. I'm I'm not a big fan of it because it doesn't really taste much. But if you like it, then good for you. But sometimes it it has that kind of like porky or beefy taste into it, you know. Sometimes I can't. I just un don't understand where it's coming from, but. It's, it's it's nice. I just miss the old Mang Inasal where where they used to sell garlic rice. Ben, please, please tell me that I am not going senile, okay? Were you still eating in Mang Inasal when they had garlic rice? This is a test. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> I was... Okay, we're gonna wait for him to finish his, his uh, sentence. It takes a bit. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I miss the old Manginasal. That's the sentence! <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. You were eating garlic rice before, yes! Yes! I am not alone! I am not alone. Mang Inasal garlic rice existed, but now it's gone. It's gone. The One Piece exists. No, the garlic rice exists. <laughs> garlic pepper steak in Jollibee. I tried it once or twice. It's not really much for me to try to write home about. But yeah, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It, it, it does its job. But I, I go to Jollibee for ultimate burger steak. <laughs> I go to Jollibee for the ultimate burger steak. That's the good stuff right there. With the extra fries. Extra, extra calories. <laughs> I wish, Mila says, I wish there was Anli Sahod. Fair. Anli Sahod is, um, Sahod is salary. So... What Miles is asking is that if only there was like an unlimited salary, that would be awesome. We would not have any need for a 13th month pay if we had only Sahad, you know? That's great. I wish. I wish. But yes, don't forget. Don't forget, everybody. It's the season for the 13th month pay. Please make sure you still have some left over. <laughs> Please. We need to survive until the end of the year. Oh my goodness. And this is the most difficult part of the year where um, you have to deal with all of your presents. You have to deal with all of your nephews and nieces, especially if you're a godfather or a godmother. And then you have to deal with giving them money and all of your cousins or all of those things. And then, you know, in short, December in the Philippines is a very happy time, but it's also a miserable time for your wallet. So, I would like, in hindsight, I am kind of glad that nobody has invited me to be their god, their child's godfather as of yet. <laughs> I don't know um, if and when, because it's going to be very difficult, you know 
really gonna be difficult. My money! The money! <laughs> uh, what else? Yes, Ben says, infinite money trick gone wrong. Police called emotional. <laughs> yes, definitely true. Definitely true. Goodness gracious. Just crazy. But, you know, that's just how it is. We've got a whole bunch of things to look forward to, especially when the year ends and the new year begins. And Sinigang Lelechon. So, for the non Filipino viewers out there, Sinigang is like a series of soup. Usually, it's the sour kind of soup because you have to use like a souring agent. So, sometimes that would be tamarind or green mango or. Uh, in some places, like, uh, what was it called again? Manam. In Manam, they even use watermelon. Sinigang na watermelon. And normally, it would just be fish as the meat. Fish or pork. And, uh, but there's also lechon, which is the, uh, what's this? The, which is the roasted pig. The roasted pig that Anthony Bourdain really loved. Rest his soul. And because we are talking about Sinigang, we're going to talk about it in the fancy taglish. And and ta the fancy taglish for the non-Filipino people out there, it's like it's like Valley Girl accent but with but with Tagalog and English inside. You know, it's making halo halo. It's making mix mix, you know what I'm saying? So if you go there and you have and if you go ahead and have your Sinigang na, na lechon, it's really really good but the the skin is so malambot. Malambot. It's so soft because the skin is submerged in the soup and it's no longer masarap. It's no longer tasty. I think the best thing that you could do is to have the <clears throat> oh I'm gonna do the old man voice and the fancy taglish at one. Show, show, Shani. When we go, when you Ben says, "Ang pinagsasabi ni Ben is that in our restaurant we don't put the skin, walang balat," as he says. Oh, that's great. Fancy old man speaking taglish. <laughs> yes, when you put the skin on the sinigang, the balat in the sinigang sopas, it puts a weird oily taste on it. That is right. It's very, it's very mantika. Ang daming mantika right there. Very, very oily. Oh, yes, that's definitely not something that I want to go when I go to BGC to get the shouties. I may be old, but I am fancy. Go to SB, go to Sarbs, get the shouties in BGC and Rockwell. <laughs> Lol, the fancy bish. So fancy. That's right. It's going to be fancy for just a little bit longer. My voice is going to die. My Lala, my Lala Moonan is gonna be so masakit after. I am so glad that you're so damning tawa, Ben. You can't stop laughing. <laughs> but yes, you know, this is your Lolo Svek, Lolo Sergey, your grandpa Svek saying, make sure that when you order, you always order blended whip at SB, you hear? Go ahead and bring your crush over and make chica chica and get those sticker stickers for the SB planner. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <clears throat> and all and all that I want to say is Masarap Talaga. Masarap Talaga. It's not cringe, Leon. And not cringe, Iho. It's not cringe, Iho. It's called committing. <laughs> it's called Nakakatawa. It's called funny. <laughs> This is how I imagine the current fancy tagless speakers right now will sound when they become Lolo. <laughs> okay, time's up. Yeah. Those people who speak sp fancy tagless right now, I cannot imagine what it's going to be like. Okay. Okay, Grandpa, it's time for you to take your meds. Ah, no, I do not want to drink my gamot. 
It's not. I don't want to drink my gamot. I am okay, na man. <laughs> Dear God. Oh God. <laughs> Our generation is gonna be so weird when we finally get old. My gosh. Mila says, "Dati in my day, mga bata ay not makulit." So to translate in English, that's back in my day. Kids were not naughty. Yeah. Closest translation I could get. Dati in my day, we used to make usap usap in the stars malapits. So back in my day, we used to talk in the nearby Starbucks. That sort of thing. God, I can't believe. I'm so thankful that I now understand Tagalog a little better now. Because back in the day when I was still in high school, I did not understand Tagalog for nothing. So thank goodness I now understand it a little better now. <laughs> yeah, work work made me forced me to actually learn Tagalog because I was one of those kids back in the day who grew up speaking English. So, um, because you know, okay, so. Just to give a little lore to Sergey here, I grew up, I grew up in in, in an a Hiligay non-speaking place. So, and it's kind of hard for me back in the day to actually understand the difference between Tagalog and Hiligay non. So I would mix the two different words, the words from the two different languages in one, and I would always get it wrong. So for those who don't know, um, the Philippines as an archipelago is home to a, hundreds of different languages. And I will say it's languages and not dialects, okay? Because Philippine English is a dialect of American English or British English. The terms are similar. You can understand each other um, for the most part. So it's like, for example, in Philippine English, if you say salvage, in American English, salvage is like to rescue something or to repair something. In, in the Philippines, salvage means like to murder or something like that. Another example is in American English, bold is like similar to brave, courageous. In the Philippines, bold is another word for not safe for work visual stuff. So, bold movies, that sort of thing. So, despite the differences, the minor differences, you could still understand a Filipino speaking English and an American speaking English. They could still understand each other. That's a so those are dialects. But in languages, like in the Philippines, we won't be able to understand each other. I think, okay, this is, uh, this is now time for audience participation. If you don't, if you don't have, if you're not allowed to speak Tagalog or English, what is your native language? What is your native language? So we can also demonstrate to the non-Filipino viewers as well. So, mine is Hiligay Non. And yeah. While we're getting the answers, let me go um, right here. So, Ben says, when I was grade four, I didn't even know what Tagalog was. <laughs> I learned Tagalog in grade six. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, 120 languages. Thank you, Ben. My mom keeps telling my dad, don't be bold. I don't know what she means by that. If she means the American version, which is like brave, or the Philippine version, which is naughty. <laughs> ben says, Bisaya. Oh, okay. You know, okay, Ben, you have to clarify with me here. Because back in my back when I was a kid, my friends used to ask me, Bis can you speak Bisaya? Or can you speak Ilongo? And I would speak to them in Hiligay Non, but they would bamboozle me with another language called Karaya. It's within the same island. 
right? It's within the same island, but they're both collectively called like Ilongo or Bisaya. So you see, for the non-Filipino viewers, that's where all, a lot of the confusion comes from. <laughs> you could live in different parts of the island, of an island in the Philippines, and you could speak totally different languages. So that's why, that's why Tagalog and English are really pushed in terms of education. And especially English, because for a number of us, um, English is used as the language for most classes the only time you're not using english is if you're using like if you're in filipino class or history class so there's that um hmm i'm not so sure about that but when i grew up my family hired poor people from davao to help at home okay i see so are we talking about the bisaya ben from cebu because sometimes uh, people say Bisaya when they mean Cebuano. So there's there's a whole different things like that. So like that, that. And see that thing that Milas is saying there in the chat. I think that's Karaya, right, Milas? Because I do not understand that one. You see, the languages get confusing. <laughs> <laughs> the languages get confusing. There's like 120 languages. No wonder people need English or Tagalog to understand each other. But yeah, that's just pretty much it, you know. Um, languages unite and languages divide. So that's also the reason why uh, growing up, I was one of those kids that relied on English more. Because, well, if I was already bad with my native languages, might as well speak English because most other people would understand that. So that's how, that's the story of my life. And for those of you who are, um, for most people in my generation now, we're already at that point where a number of us are, uh, are having families, having children. So for those of you who are watching, please, Please, please make sure that you teach your kids your native language and don't just start with English, please. I'm one of those kids and it was a nightmare for me <laughs> growing up, trust me. Goodness gracious. The last thing you want to do is to have your kid uh, struggle with Filipino class because they only know English. Goodness gracious. Thank you for confirming, Psalm. True, true. Yeah. <sighs> that was exhausting. <laughs> Miley says, Ah, you learned Karaya from your, your girlfriend's family. I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> ben says, Coco Melon has destroyed the youngest in our family. A tragedy, to be sure. <laughs> Oh no, Coco Melon, what have you done? <laughs> and then, but a few years ago, it was actually Peppa Pig. I remember, Mummy, Daddy. <laughs> sure, Ben, go ahead and take care of your quiz. Thank you very much for your time here. Appreciate it. Thank you for the lurk. Mummy, Daddy. <laughs> oh no. It's already bad enough that it's English, um, that your kid is focusing on English only. What more if it's uh, British English? Because for us in the Philippines, we focus more on American English. So if, you're if your kid is learning British English, that's gonna be a real, real big difference from the rest of the school, of the students. So yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh boy, what what a time, what a time, especially with all of the new things that are happening, globalization and all of that, especially that we are now in the Netflix era, we will see how education is going to change our children in the future. I don't know about me though, children in this economy? <laughs> But I don't know, maybe, maybe I would love to have children. Um, I would like to have a family one of these days. But the question is when, I do not know. I do not know. 
So we will just see. We will just see in the future uh, what the future holds. But I am in no rush. So it's <laughs> it's Coco Melon and Peppa Pig. <laughs> Curse you, Coco Melon and Peppa Pig. In my generation, it was Barney. Curse you. <laughs> what I said was, oh, when you were speaking, Karai A. What I said was, Sergey went on with his trip. He didn't even let us know and even left the lights on. But I think I jumbled it up pretty bad. That's, that's understandable. Good attempt. Good attempt. Let me go ahead and hydrate. I need to. <laughs> I need to drink. Oh yeah, and if you and if you are curious, I do have a Telenim account. So if you have always wanted to ask me a question, always wanted to um, see or just send any anonymous messages, feel free to go ahead and reach me out via Telenim as well. I appreciate my external validation. <laughs> At least I'm honest about it. Uh my Lala Moonen is gonna be so masaket. <laughs> so masaket. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Whew. Okay. So, there. Um, we have actually covered a lot today, you know what? And the funny part is, I actually had a bunch of topics planned for today. But we got sidelined in the best possible way. And I'm very glad, and I'm very glad for that. You know, because sometimes, you know, um, it's always good to have people to bounce off of. And that's what makes me really happy. So thank you, everybody, for being very participative in chat. Um, I appreciate you all giving your input and for all of the stuff that you have shared. So um, I think at this point, I want to go ahead and just wrap it up for we're going to be going in a bit. And we'll be raiding in a while. But I just want to give a shout out to Be Crazy, to Tonk, and Da Vinci for the follows, and to Ben for the bits. Appreciate it very much. So, yes, it was definitely fun to be off the rails. You know, I, I have learned to try to be a little more open to change, to be a little more off the rails. And this is very, very welcome. So thank you, everybody, for uh, allowing me to do this. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, finding someone to raid right now. So now I have an idea who we're going to be raiding now. So let's go copy our raid message. As you can see, it's a Sarjavian Nation delegation. Okay, we are not raiding. We are visiting. This is a diplomatic visit. <laughs> okay. And we're going to be visiting uh, Mikazuki Sonata right now. And Mylas, I think you're going to appreciate uh, this very much because uh, Mikazuki is actually another Philippine VTuber and she is actually playing the Crash, the Crash Bandicoot um, Remastered series. So definitely something that I, I think you would love to see. Oh, nuts. Wrong, wrong command. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we're going to be going to Mikazuki and um, we'll go ahead and say hello and be nice, everybody. So thanks again, everybody, for dropping by by this Sunday evening. Uh, my next stream is going to be Sunday, 7 p.m. Philippine time. And I'm probably going to play Splatoon or more Dark Souls because on Monday I'm going to be touching grass. But if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, or on Twitch, I suggest you go ahead and do so you can get the latest news on the Sergeavian Nation. So, okay, we'll go. I'll go ahead and send you off. You be good now and you take care. Always be safe. And I hope I brought a little color to your day. Keep the world turning. All right? This is Sergey Svek saying bye now.